Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the class. Uh, I hope the class is getting interesting. So in this class now, we are solving questions on parallelisms and uh, perpendicularity. So let's see how to solve the given question. So which of the following lines are parallel? So we have to determine which of the, the lines. We have L1, L2, L, and L2, L3. Of which we have for L1, we have 2x plus 3y equals to 5. L2, we have a 4x plus 6y equals to 1. And L3, we have 4x plus 3y equals to 1. So we know the condition for parallel. For parallel, we must have the product of the, the two gradients must be equal. That is, M1 must be equal to what? M2. So now it means for us to find, calculate for this now, it means we have to find the gradient of each of the line. So we have to find the gradient for L1, L2, uh, L3. So let's for L1 solution. So the condition for parallel is that M1 must be equal to what? M2. Parallel. parallel. So now let's check, let's calculate for the gradient of L1. So for L1, so for L1 now, which is 2x plus 3y equals to 5. Now, we have 2x plus 3y equals to 5. We transfer 2x to the other side. We have in 3y equals to 5 minus 2x. So, the next thing is to divide both side by what? By because the equations are expressed in y equals to mx plus c, which is c is constant. So, divide by 3 over 3 equals to 5 over 3 minus 2x over 3. So, here m is gradient and C is constant. So, this 3 will cancel this 3. We have Y equals to. So, you can interchange this to form the expressions of the equation. We have minus 2 over 3X plus 5 over what? Over 3. So, here means uh, we have in our M1, which is the gradient. Gradient 1 equals to minus 2 over 3. So let's check for or calculate for the gradient of L2 as well. L2. So for L2, L2, we have 4, we have 4x plus 6y equals to 1. 4x, 4x plus 6y equals to 1. So we do the same thing. We take 4x to the answer. We have in 6y equals to 1 minus so we divide this side by 6 over 6, 1 over 6 minus 4x over, what? over 6. So this is we cancel this 6, we have in y equals 2. We can interchange this, we have minus 4 over 6x plus 1 over, what? over 6. So we have y equals to 2 here 2. And here is 3, we have minus 2 over 3, x plus 1 over 6. So that means that for L2, we have in within 2, M2 to the equal to minus 2. So the next thing is to calculate for, for L3, for L3, L3, we have in 4x plus 3y equals to 5, 4x plus 3y equals to 5. 4x plus 3y equals to 5. 4x plus 3y equals to 5. So we do the same thing. 3y equals to 5 minus 4x. So we have the value set by 3. Equals to 5 over 3 minus 4x over 3. So this 3 we cancel this 3. We have in y equals to 5 over 3 minus 4x over 3. And so we can interchange. We have minus 4 over 3, x plus 5 over 1 over 3. So the gradient for L3, that will be M3, equals to 
minus 4 over 3. So you now check the three gradients. You notice that M1, M1 equals to minus 2 over 3. So which is also equals to M2. And M2 is also equal to what? Minus 2 over 3. But M3 is not equals to M1. Likewise, it's not equals to M2. So we only have line L1 and L2 to be what? To be parallel to each other. It's parallel to each other. So we have, as it seems, M1 equals to M2. Then L1, L1 is parallel. It's parallel to what? To L2. So, M1 equals. Thanks for watching this uh, video. In the next class, we'll be solving other questions. See you.